Hi friends, welcome to Intermediate Python Programming Tutorial by Podward YouTube channel. My name is Basha. This is second video in the Intermediate Python Programming Tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about list comprehension. Before watching this video, you have to know some basics of list like how to create list, how to insert elements to the list, how to delete elements to the list and some basics like if condition, for loop like this. If you know all these topics, you are good to go. Otherwise, to learn about list, I recommend list in the Python for beginners videos in this Code World YouTube channel. There I covered almost all the topics related to list in Python in three videos, part one, part two, part three. The link is in the description and above I called. Please check it out. If you want to learn Python basics, I recommend Python tutorial for beginners from scratch playlist in my channel. I'll provide the link of that playlist in the description and a boy call. Before getting to the topic, a request for you friends. If you are first time visiting my channel and want to learn Python programming language, make sure you hit the subscribe button and activate the bell icon to get notifications. Get into the video. So now what is list comprehension? List comprehensions provide an appropriate way to create new list. It's an easy way to apply functions or filters to a list of items. For example, if you want to create a list that contains square of numbers from 1 to 100. If you create it manually, it takes a lot of time, right? You have to calculate squares of all numbers from 1 to 100 and then you have to write manually like this L1 is equal to and write 1 square 1, 2 square, 2 square 4, square 9, it takes a lot of time. Don't worry, our darling Python gives us list comprehension. So by using list comprehension, in simply one line of code, you can create this list. You don't need to calculate squares from 1 to 100 and write it manually. I'll show you that. To this list, I give name squares. I'll take variable i and we have to calculate squares, right? So power 2 i square for i in range of 100. That's it. Our list is ready. Very simple, right? So I'll show you how show you the list print squares now i run my code see the list is printed see here 100, 100 square is 10000 right see here 10000 is not printed see this here 0 is printed 0 square is 0 if you already know about for loops then you'll understand for loop start from start value by default start value is 0 if you take 100 as a end value it take up to 99 not 100 so to make 1 to 100, we have to do like this, 1 comma 1 not 1. Then we'll get square of all the numbers from 1 to 100, okay? Now run my code again. See here, now this 10,000 is printed and 1 square is 1, okay? If you don't know about for loops, I'll give the link in the description. Please check that video. In that video, I explain clearly about for loops. Now we are going to solve a simple problem by using this list comprehension. Now our problem is separate even on odd numbers from list of some numbers. We are going to solve this by using this list comprehension. For example, there is a list, some random list numbers. Okay, nums. Some random values 1. 9, 3, 2, 6, 7, 9, 5, uh, 32, like the sum random numbers. We have to separate all the even numbers and odd numbers in the list. So if you don't know list comprehension, generally we do like this. We take a empty list, evens, odds, empty list. Now for i in nums if i modulus is equal to is equal to zero this is condition of even numbers if you divide a number with two if the demand is zero then it is even number so then we add this value this i value to evens list so evens dot append i otherwise else, else this is an odd number so we add odds dot append i we add this i value to the odds list and finally 
we print the list so events and print odds right now i run my code the the even list and all list is printed this is one way take 10 lines of code so by using list comprehension we we can do this in just five lines of code see here i'll remove this code now i'll show you how to do this by using list comprehension so inside this list we'll give i for i in nums if we can give this if condi condition inside the list okay nothing wrong so i modulus to is equal to is equal to zero then the i value become even number otherwise i'll take j for j in nums if j modulus 2 not is equal to 0 right then it became odd number and i'll give some simple prompt here even numbers here odd numbers now i run my code see even numbers even number list is printed odd numbers odd number list is printed so half of the code is reduced so in just five lines of code we do this so the, so the list comprehension provide an appropriate way to create new list and trying to create a list in a very extensive range will result in a memory error so that will affect your system so don't do that and finally a simple assignment for your friends that is write python code using this list comprehension to create a list with numbers that divided by 5 between 50 to 100 this is very simple if you use list comprehension. So comment your code in the comment section below. I will discuss the answer in next video. That's it for this video friends. See you in next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Comment your opinion on this video in the comment section below. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thank you. Thank you for watching.